Hello, my fall 2020 teachers. Um, I just wanted to send this recording out. I know a lot of you are uh, not doing the welcome calls this year and just doing a welcome video. And I've seen many of those in your classes, which is awesome. I wanted to do the same thing because about half my teachers know me from summer conference and, and me being their principal last year. But um, the other half, this is brand new. This is your first introduction. So I'm going to make this quick, but I have a few things uh, that I want to tell you about myself and then a few things about um, what's going on at IDLA and then and then some next steps at the end. So um, real quick, just wanted to show you who my family is. Um, whoa, okay. Here's my family. Uh, this is my wife, Ashley, and we live in Burley, Idaho. I'm the one of the vice principals at Burley High School. And then uh, I've got my four kids there. We got Zoe, who's going into kindergarten and pretty wild and couldn't be happier that she's going to school right now. So uh, she needs some some away time from mom and dad to, to uh, find herself, I guess. But uh, there she is. I got Paxton, who's nine. Uh, Reese, who's going into seventh grade or in seventh grade right now. And my Riley, who is a freshman. And it's really cool to have a child at your school. I don't know if you've ever uh, experienced that, but she's a she's a great girl to have and comes out to my office always says hi to me in the hallways and talks to me at lunch so I uh, just really enjoy that uh, here's where we live this is the shot out my backyard I built this playhouse this last summer we just built a house two summers ago last summer I built this um, I'm a project guy I kind of get out of control as you can see see that beautiful rainbow there but I uh, built this for my kids and then this was the project this summer doing a, a gazebo for my wife Did you see who parked here? Who parked here? Who parked here? This is my spot! P-R-I-N-C-A-T-A-L! This is my spot! Turn off that camera, phone! Who parked here? Watch it, Missy. Confiscated. What did I say about that rainbow sweater? This is not casual Friday, Pam. It is not casual Friday. You're in trouble. You're in big trouble, Zach. Big trouble. No hats. Yeah, look at the wall. Look at the wall. Arms. I want my coffee! Yes, sir! Get my coffee, Pam! I'm getting it now, sir! Now? Why not before? I don't hear you walking! <clears throat> Good morning, students. This is Principal Wilson speaking. The uh, junior high book drive is this Sunday. Don't forget about it. And one more thing. Whichever faculty member parked in my spot... It's a red hatchback. It's my spot! That's my spot! And there's a sign that very clearly reads, Principal Wilson! I'm Principal Wilson! I'm Principal Wilson! I'm Principal Wilson! And if you are not Principal Wilson, you have not earned it! It is not your spot! Not your spot! You move that car right now, or it will be towed! Don't you think I don't know what you're saying behind my back, people? Because I hear every word, I hear every whisper. Oh, yes, I do! You don't think that I've earned my degree here? You think that I don't do anything? Well, guess what, people? Guess what? I earned a plaque in 1994 and reached teacher of the year! Teacher of the year? And someone's been stealing my Stangler! and then putting it back where it belongs. Someone is stealing my pencils from around the world. And I don't like it. You move that car right now or it will be towed. It will be towed. Don't have a meltdown. Have a meltdown. Go Wildcats. Those. So that's my family, that's me. Um, I taught for seven years. This is my seventh year at Burley High School as the vice principal, so 14 years in education. I grew up in Shelley, Idaho, lived my whole life basically in Idaho, except for two years when I was in Russia, serving a, a church service mission, and uh, really loved that time, and, and um, glad to be here with everybody. Been with IDLA, this will be my fourth year, so uh, very excited about that. And um, I wanted to uh, just talk real quick about uh, what's going on in your lives, uh, as well as mine. This is probably the craziest time we've had in education in the past 30 years. Um, you know, new, new things being thrown at us every day, changes, not knowing what next week's going to look like. As far as Burley High School is concerned, we are in a face-to-face -face situation and I really appreciate that. And, and we've been good so far. It's been two weeks. We've had no positive cases. We've had a thousand kids and 80 staff members. We'd have no positive cases in the school, uh, none that we know about. Um, but, uh, it's been really good. 
But because of what's happened this summer, because of all the things that have happened between COVID and all the protests and Black Lives Matter and the, the elections and economy and just everything going on, I had a message for my teachers and it was about focus. What are we focusing on? Are we focusing on COVID? Or are we focusing on kids? Are we focusing on the, all the unrest? Or are we focusing on teaching? And so I want you to think about focus as I show you this next video clip. It's about two minutes long, but it's pretty funny. And it's uh, about focus. So go ahead and enjoy this. So I hope you found a little bit of humor in that video. Um, that principal's whole focus was on his parking spot and it threw everything off and you can see it, it, it derailed quite quickly and, and was pretty hilarious but the question I posed before we watch the video is what is your focus this year and I think all of us uh, realize and agree it has to be on the kids we have COVID going on we have a lot of online school we have just so many considerations and things happening but we have to continually remember our focus is the kids so as we go throughout this semester, I may just send a message or an email or whatever saying, hey, remember what the focus is this year. Um, and, and I hope we get reminded of it often. Just last night, my wife and I uh, took our two younger ones because the older ones were out and we went out to dinner with them. And we were sitting in this Mexican restaurant here in Burley, Idaho, having a wonderful meal and it just got done. And we were kind of waiting around for the check and um, our server came over and dropped off uh, a to-go box and said that someone would be with us shortly and I thought that was kind of weird if they dropped the to-go box off they should have just dropped the uh, um, check off with it but we waited another minute or two and all of a sudden this young lady showed up and said I just want you guys to know that I'm gonna go ahead and pay your bill tonight and it was one of the uh, other workers that that was at the restaurant and as I looked closer I realized it was a student that I'd had uh three or four years prior to that that i'd worked with at the high school and my wife said oh you don't have to do that and she said no you don't understand your husband was one of the people that truly helped me get through high school and i want to do something nice for you guys and she got a little teary-eyed and i'll admit i got a little teary-eyed and um, she walked away and we just had such a great feeling and it reminded me where my focus needed to be this year and uh so as we go throughout the year, focus, focus, focus on our kids and take care of them. And also don't forget to focus on yourselves. And that's my job. So my job is to focus on you guys this year. So a couple of things I just want to remind you about, um, you know, within the first three weeks, and I'm going to give you a lot of leeway because I know I'm sending this out late, is uh, your IPLPs. And I'm going to share this document with you. Um, you know, you'll fill everything out up, up top and... Um, Make sure you initial and do all the things you need to do. And then um, down below, what do you hope to accomplish? This is an example of one that was sent to me. I'll conduct a weekly synchronous e-tutoring time to help students uh, with lessons they may struggle with and also to prepare them with new concepts needed to tackle upcoming assignments. And then they go on, they talk about their SMART goal and what their action plan is. This can be super simple. Please do not let this be your focus for too long. We just need to get it done. And this is something that you need to share with me when you're done. Um, and when the evaluation folders are created that uh, IDLA usually uh, has together at this time, um, then you'll just drop this into that folder and you'll have it all ready to go. So please try to have this done by the end of September. Um, and I'll share that with you today as well uh, when I send this video out. And lastly, just your walkthrough dates. Uh, so my early fall people have already had one walkthrough. My custom section teachers, uh, typically, you're starting this week. You would have one after the first week. But these are the dates when the walkthroughs are due. It's not when they're going to happen, when they're due. What I would really like to do is get on a schedule um, to where um, two weeks prior to the due date, I get my early falls. One week prior to the due date, I get my custom sections. And then on the due date is when I try to do my late falls. Um, I will try to communicate to each group of teachers prior to me doing the walkthrough. I'll send a little email that says, hey, I'm going to go ahead and do a walkthrough today. Uh, just a heads up, you know, and that should give you or maybe it'll give you a couple of days and say, hey, I'm going to try to do your walkthroughs this weekend just so you have a, a heads up. I don't want to be I don't want it to be a gotcha moment. I don't want you to be 
feeling like, oh my gosh, when's he going to get in? When's he going to do the walkthrough? I will try to communicate and over communicate when those are going to happen. Please don't freak out. I'm going to be very lenient this semester. I know everyone's overloaded. I've got a brand new teacher at Burley High School that they're not new to her Burley, but they're new to IDLA. And he decided to take on two courses and he has 30 kids per course. He's got 60 kids. And this is his first semester teaching with IDLA. I know you guys are going to be overwhelmed. I know there's a lot going on in your face-to-face -face schools and in your personal lives. So I'm going to be lenient. I've already had people email me and say, hey, you know, I'm a little behind on my grading, just trying to get school going here and whatever part of the state they're in. I understand that. Um, communicate with me. I'll try to communicate with you as best as I can. And those who have had me already and know, I really do try to, to, to work with you and, and uh, give you as much flexibility as I can. So anyway, just please remember our focus this year is our kids. Focus on them. Take care of them. Do everything you can to, to assess their needs. And, um, and please let me know what I can do. I'm going to focus on you guys this year. I'm going to try to make more phone calls. I'm going to do a Zoom once in a while with either small groups or individually just to check in with you. And um, I just want to take care of you this semester. So please let me know if there's anything I can do. And good luck with this fall semester.